play peace 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 okay come with me as a yoni steam let's go so when i'm yoni steaming okay and it's like the help my womb right the clean my vjj instead of doing addition and all the other stuff honey i don't i don't dish okay um but i put the herbs in here and this crate i got from michael's and this thing is um is a crock pot peace 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 okay so i'm gonna have to be like this um because my ring light is acting up but whatever okay so i hope you guys are having a phenomenal day if not do understand and get your day is going to get better once your perception gets better honey so today we will be doing a yoni steaming so Yoni semen, it produces fertility, um, is good for cervical mucus, meaning it helps with fertility, okay? The more moist you are down there, the more um, the sperm could swim to the eggs, the easier it is, right, to get it pregnant, okay? Also, um, yoni steaming is good for any bacteria infections. Honey, I'm no doctor, okay? Make sure you do your own research, okay? Um, it relaxes you. You don't have um, intense menstrual cramps, okay? Because I remember um, it was one time where as though I had um, yoni steamed. And what happened was my menstrual came. And normally, like, I feel, um, like, cramps, right? And I have hemorrhoids, okay? <laughs> All right? I know it may be like, girl, that's too much, right? Honey, I gave birth, okay? Four times, okay? So, I have hemorrhoids. Um, and so, it's certain herbs that you could take, like to um to ease the hemorrhoids or to help with the hemorrhoids but i always say it always goes back to eating and although honey i know i need to tighten up my eating if you've seen those videos last night of me doing food shopping okay um but it's really really beneficial um when you yoni steam it okay i never knew anything about yoni steaming so honey if you like girl what is that honey i never knew about it neither until recently okay until i started getting into herbs and then you know it was like a whole wave you know whenever something weird though it could be marketing right um it was so many people talking about yoni steaming but yoni steaming is like it goes way 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 back in time okay i don't know exactly how way back but it goes back in time so some of the um the herbs that i am using okay so first what we going to do honey we are going to get us a pot like this okay we going to pour our water in here in this pot like that okay so I don't do no measurements. I just, you know, put as much water as I think may be needed. Okay, so as we put our water in there, we gonna start getting our herbs ready. Okay, one of the herbs that I am using is red clover. This is a blood purifier. It is really, really good. Um, so we are going to use, and if you on your menstrual cycle, I don't know about steaming because I probably went in, I don't know. I never steamed on my menstrual cycle. Um, I don't know if that would be healthy, like to steam on your menstrual cycle. Um, that's why I say, honey, do your research. Okay. The only time I really steam is before my menstrual and after my menstrual okay so i took like three handfuls of red clover and then we are i gotta get some more lavender we are going to put some lavender in here okay and lavender smells good and it's also it it treats restlessness oh and this is another thing about the yoni steaming it relaxes you like once you steam your JJ, 
Honey, you gonna be, you gonna feel so relaxed and calm, okay? Listen to some music, right? Um, I may listen to some her, okay? I, th I think that's the artist named her. I may listen to some her, okay? And and get you a book. You you wanna really be in your 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 womanness, okay? Your womb, right? Cause you 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 working on the womb, right? So you want to really be in that feminine energy. You see, I got my million dollar robe on, honey. You you t you try to tell me something about my million goddamn dollar robe, okay? So we got the lavender, the red clover. Oh. And to take some. Rose, not rosemary, some um raspberry. Oh, and we're gonna put some sage, okay? All right, so sage is good for menopause, okay? Men menopause and diabetes. I'm quite sure it have other um health benefits, but my spirit is telling me to take some sage, okay? All right. Then we are going to take some valerian root. Okay, so valerian root, honey, this actually tightens up your JJ. Okay, this, honey, this, this herb, now this is catnip with valerian root. I mixed it together, okay? But this is definitely going to relax you. Um, but the valerian root, honey, it has like a very intense, strong a smell very strong smell okay um it, it smells very intense okay almost like poop but is is I, I guarantee you is is really really good it it has like a peculiar some may say it smell like poop but it's really really good honey if you take valerian root for your nerves you you will see Okay, so we got, and that's where volume is from. Okay, you remember the drug back in the day? You used to hear that a, a lot of white people was on volume, right? Volume is um, is really from, they got it from valerian root. Like, you know, of course, they make other compounds with it and stuff like that. But, but volume is, you know, valerian root is, volume is the prop from valerian root okay and so now we are going to take some of our we're going to take some of our ginger okay And, um, it was another herb that I had. Oh, the Mexican, um, calendula. It was calendula. I don't have no more, um, calendula. Oh, do I have calendula? Wait, hold on, honey. Okay, I do. Okay, so this is tarragon. Well, that's the 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 name, the Latin name. But hold on, honey. Let me get my book. One second. Okay, so this book, I highly recommend um, you get this. Um, I got this book off of Amazon, and it just talks about, like, the herbs and stuff like that, the different herbs, and they pay. Let me see. Okay, so I know I said red clover already, but let's just talk about it. So red clover is a blood purifier and it is used to break up calcification and soft tissues and to clean the lymphatic system of lymph fluid waste. 
Okay, so that's the red clover. And now I am looking for um oh so we got anika we got ginger we got some red clover we have lavender and we are going to do a little bit of damiana because you know as i was doing this you know coming up with this you know i came across dami okay dami would be damiana okay dami is for sure okay and so damiana it relaxes you Okay, it helps you, it relaxes you, it calms your doggone nerves, honey. So let me see what this says here. Okay, Damiana is a um, aphrodisiac, okay, um, an anti-aromatease and anti-anxiety properties. B, men and women use Damiana to strengthen the sexual organs and to boost sexual drive and potency. The anti-aromatize property, aromatize, 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 honey, you know what I mean. Property, um, let me see, Damiana is used to help control estrogen-related illness in women like breast cancer and fibroids. Women who use it to reduce hot flashes associated with menopause. It also helps balance estrogen and supports testosterone levels in men. Damiana increases oxygen delivery to the gen genitals, result in an increased libido. Damiana is also used to treat depression and nervousness and to relax anxiety associated with sexual dysfunction. Damiana stimulates the intestinal tract and is used to treat constipation. Okay, so um, I don't know why my... My intuition was saying, honey, get you some dami, okay? But we gon' honey, we gonna follow our intuition and we are going to get us some dami. This is mullen right here. Why I picked up the mullen? Oh, cause because I'm looking for the dami. Okay, where where you at, girl? Where where you at, dami? One second, honey. Now, honey, I know Dami ain't get away. I know she ain't going. Honey, the devil is a lie. Okay, I got it. Okay. So this is Damiana, okay, and we gonna put, listen, I believe a lot of, you know, like when you go to the African hair salons, right? I believe a lot of the African women, they use Damiana because, you know, when you go to get your hair braided and you smell um, like this, um, it's like a, a certain scent you smell. It smells just like the Dami, okay? Smells just like the Dami, okay? Um, so we gonna use some Dami. Okay, honey, honey, we doing this, okay? Get you, go to your local um, herbalist and get you some herbs and see, you know, what they recommend and stuff, okay? And then this is the raspberry, the red raspberry. Okay, we gonna take just a few. And we also gonna take some rosemary. Okay, one second. Okay, so this is our rosemary, honey. It, it, you you probably like, girl. Why are you putting that in here? Why are you you know using this stuff, honey? My my intuition telling me to do this. Okay, let's see let's see why she telling me. 
Let's see. Honey, we gonna find out together why she telling me. Okay, let's see. Okay, let me see. Oh, honey, dang, dang. Let me see. Okay, all right. So they saying, um, they talking about inhaling the rosemary. I'm talking about steaming with the damn rosemary. Steaming your dog on with JJ. Um, steaming rosemary's steaming. You don't need. Come on, Google, get right. Um, honey, it ain't saying. You only see my benefits. Look at this with Rosemary. Come on, Google. All right, so it says rosemary is also an antispectic and helps with circulating out old fluids and blood. It purifies and stimulates the yoni and reclaim or remember. Okay. Wait, hold up. Let me see. Oh, okay. Let me see. Um, so they talking about today we explore the practice of Yoni seams. There's a lot you need to know about them. Yoni seams offer us to restore the disconnect from female body, Yoni ut uterus, whether that be from birth, unsatisfying, intimate experiences, trauma, abuse, surgeries, or just cultural disconnect. Yoni Seema is a self-health practice to restore health and balance your physical feminine cycles. Ease the transition through life phases, unlock the intimate magic of your womb, and release toxic emotions such as stress, tension, and stagnation. Okay, but they ain't giving me nothing on Rosemary. Okay, but that's okay. All right. Honey, honey, listen, I'm going to follow my intuition, okay? you Now, you got to do what works for you, okay? Now, I'm looking for one more herb, and it's called bladderack. Let me see. Okay. So, bladderack, honey, this is going to help with your bladder. Of course, the name bladder. If you got um, yeast infections, I remember when I had um, yeast infections, right? And it comes from, again, from the food. But when I would get them, in, of course, from wetness, right? Like if you um, swimming and you put on a bathing suit and you have that, you know, it creates um, that, all that bacteria and stuff like that. Also, it comes from if your dude, okay, honey, if he, I used to think women are the only ones that could get a yeast infection. Okay, honey, that is not true. Okay, men can have one too. So bladder rack, when I went to the herbalist, um, she pretty much had told me to get some bladder rack because it would help with yeast infections and stuff, right? Now, when you using this, the bladder rack, it smells very fishy, okay? Like very, very fishy. Okay, so I'm gonna take probably like one tablespoon or so of that. Okay. Isn't it fascinating how Gaia be showing up and showing out, right? Like, come on, Mother Earth, come with it. Come with it. Okay, so I had the water boiling about, I want to say like 15, 20 minutes. Okay, and now we are going to add our herbs. Okay. While I have the um, the herbs going, okay, I am going to come 
and um you could use a crock pot okay they got these crock pots um from amazon they 15 dollars. okay you could get you a crock pot honey don't cook with that crock pot no more okay <laughs> don't don't cook with it after you don't put your honey i thought about it <laughs> one time i'm not gonna front i i know some may be like girl that's me it's the honey but i did think about it okay just just to tell you the truth okay now what i'm gonna do is i am going to um wrench my crock pot out because as you can see honey is a little dusty dusty okay the crock pot is clean clean okay and we are going to get our yoni herbs okay and pour it into the crock pot and then we're gonna set the timer Okay, family, so now that our herbs is here, we just going to take our wooden crate. And like I said, I got this wooden crate from Michael Crafts, okay? Um, you, it was, I think it was about like $15 or $11. I forget exactly the price. Don't ever quote me on prices, okay? Um, oh, shoot. It ain't plugged in, honey. Okay, and so we want to set, I like setting mines for about 30, maybe we could do it, I'll do an hour, about 30 minutes should be good, okay, honey, I ain't trying to damn cook no damn turkey, <laughs> okay, and so 30 minutes, I set it for and we're gonna put our crate over it right now i am here in my closet well my linen closet okay to get a towel or something just to wrap my bottom area although i do have a dress on but i like the steam to be very steamy okay like sometimes burning steamy i don't know it's just maybe something like you know i don't know but I like it like that because to me, it feels like it's working. If it's warm, okay, I don't feel like it's working. So we gonna take this white sheet, okay, um, and we are going to steam. family okay so that is pretty much like how you yoni steam okay i'm still on the steamer okay i think i got like 20 something more minutes to go but um once you start doing this i'm telling you like you are going to feel so connected to your feminine side right you want to feel relaxed calm mellow okay um and this definitely helps the moist so if you honey if you are dry dry like flour okay like cooking flour honey then you need to um get you on get, get honey start start seeing about the yoni okay start steaming or whatever um but like i said all of it mainly comes from food and oil though okay um, but you can still incorporate these things. Like, don't ever feel like, well, because I ain't a hundred percent there yet, you know, I can't incorporate, you know, no yoni steaming because I'm still eating such and such. You can still incorporate these things, right? It's not about you rushing to get like to this 
you know, holy place or whatever. It's about you taking your time with yourself and being gentle with self. And I remind myself of this too, right? Be gentle with yourself. And girl, when that intuition be talking, honey, you better listen to it, okay? Because my intuition in a room, I was in a room reading a book and it was like, go Yoni, go Steam, go, go Yoni Steam, okay? And I was like, what? And then it was like, do a video, okay? What? Okay, okay, all right. And so here we are today. So um, just understand you got this, okay? Listen to your intuition, your intuition knows. Okay. And with that being said, make sure you guys comment, like, subscribe, and I catch you guys on the next one.